Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying out the new Enchirito from Taco Bell. I saw this came out the other day and it looks very saucy and good. So of course we have to try everything new from Taco Bell because it is one of my favorites. My little crochet plant is in the way, but I can probably put it up there. But it's so cute, isn't this adorable? I got it on Etsy and I'm obsessed with it. It's just a homemade little crochet plant. They had all different kinds and succulents, ones with like flowers on it. So excited, it kind of took like a couple weeks to come, but it's so cute. I am so hungry. They also have a new freeze out, which it's so hot out today, so I might get that. Let's look here. I feel like I don't see it on the menu. Hi, do you guys have that? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Do you guys have the uh, new Enchirito? Yes. Okay, perfect. Could I get, I'll have that, and then I'll also add sour cream on there. And then could I try the Chili Verde Fries Burrito? We don't have fries. Oh, okay. Is there something else you wanted? Is there a, a different one that doesn't have fries in it? Mm, no, but we could do it without the fries. Okay, I'll try that. Anything else? Uh, and then just a side of the chipotle sauce. Yeah. And that's it. Any sauce? Actually, can I also try the watermelon berry freeze? What size? A small one, please. Okay, anything else? Just the hot sauce and that's it. Alrighty, 12.26. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she was laughing at me. <laughs> I had a big order, okay? So I was like, okay. It said that their fryers are down, so that's why they do no, no potatoes, no fries. There was like a paper that I didn't read. So, no fries. 1226. Okay, thank you. Wow, pretty. That's so pretty. Thank you. So I got like a little bit like burnt <laughs> yesterday. It's been so hot. So hot in Ohio, it's been like over 80 every single day. So yeah, I laid out by the pool and that's like the only part that's burnt. Like I feel like the rest of me looks tan. But yeah, my chest always gets a little bit red, which I did wear sunscreen too, so it'll turn into a tan. It's just a little bit red from like, it's a heat rash. <laughs> but I did go swimming in the lake yesterday too, but I didn't, well, I wash my hair every Friday, which I probably should wash it more when it's this hot out, cause you know, it gets greasy, but like after washing it only every Friday, my hair doesn't get as greasy that often. Like it's greasy on like day five. And then I start using dry shampoo and then I like use hairspray and then hair perfume too. So I feel like it's fine. Um, I do have a straw down there. Cause I want to try this freeze. I'll just see if they give me one. Okay. Two. They did give me a straw. Perfect. So yeah, I, I accidentally fell in the lake yesterday, kind of. So I was like hanging off the side, going to the bathroom. You guys know how people do it on boats. Like you either jump in or <laughs> you can like hang off. So, which is honestly pretty gross, but like that's kind of the only option. And then I couldn't hold myself up too well and I went down. <laughs> I went straight back into the lake, head under and everything which I didn't want to get my hair wet in the lake. And then it was like also sunset kind of, so it was starting to get a little bit chilly. <laughs> but we got the new items. I really wanted to try or get cheesy fiesta potatoes, but I couldn't. Mm. Oh, this is big still without the fries in it. Chipotle sauce. So I saw that was new too. That one came out a little bit before, but we gotta get, gotta get it all. Yay, they didn't forget anything. Got my sauce and my napkins. First, we're gonna try out the slushy. They have came out with so many new ones. Oh, remember the one time they had the watermelon one and it had like the little seeds in it? That was cute. Mmm. Tastes like a Skittle. Tastes ex or nerds. It tastes exactly like nerds. Mmm, very sweet. Okay, let's see what this thing looks like. So it comes in this bowl. 
and it's like steaming hot on the bottom. I hate their lids and like, cause they do the nachos in these kind of containers too. I don't really like them. It's like the Chipotle lids. Like I wish they'd change those because it's like so hard to, if you have leftovers, like to put the foil back on it. Whoa. Wow. Mm. Smells amazing. I have to take a picture of it. A little snap. And then let's also see this burrito. So let me, I don't even know what's in this one. It's not telling me. So if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen, but. Ooh, you can see the salsa marinade sauce coming out. We're gonna take a few bites and try this first. Mmm. With the steak in there, oh wow. It's got some kick. Mmm. I need to turn the air on and just for a little bit. It's hot. It's 83 right now. Mmm. This is really good. Woo! Check out what this burrito looks like on the inside. It is actually pretty spicy. I don't know if it's that green sauce that's spicy or what, but I like it a lot. Thumbnail time. <laughs> I haven't had a Taco Bell burrito in so long. They got rid of the quesarito. I went through once and asked for the quesarito and they're like, oh, we don't have that anymore. And then I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Then I just went through because I was really craving that. So it looks like cheese steak. And that salsa. But yeah, the weather was so up and down. And then like as soon as we hit June, so hot. Well, this whole past week has been so nice. So I have been out outside every day. Got myself a little natural tan going. Natural burn. <laughs> but yeah, it's been so nice out. That's why I do like Ohio because you get such a variety of seasons. Mm -mm -mm. Got the sparkly cup today. Mm. Yeah, you get such a variety. Like I love fall time and then like winter and the snow. If anything, just like the months between like January to May are like so cold and then there's like no really big holiday so it's just kind of like eh. So if anything I don't like it during that time. Which one day it would honestly be a goal to have a beach house like in Florida or something that you could go to for like a couple months out of the year. Like that would be really nice. But let's try this out. I felt like sour cream like just seemed like it needed to be on here. Mmm. Honestly, that is like the best enchilada I've ever had. It's so saucy and cheesy, and the sauce is really good. It almost is like reminding me of like a sloppy joe. Mmm. <laughs> that is pretty good. Both new items, Taco Bell, they always do it. But everything that I try from them, I swear, is always good. How can it not be when it's like a burrito and saucy with cheese? Mmm. I'm so hungry. What time is it? It's 1.30. It's my first meal of the day. So I was really hungry. And then later I have plans to go out to eat with my friends. We're going to like this outside patio that's really pretty. And they have like live music and stuff. So we're going at seven. So I am kind of eating a lot right now, but I feel like I'll get something light there. Like they have this lemon feta dip that's really good. So I'll probably all get that. And then they have also this like pesto bow tie pasta salad. 
and you can get just like a side of it which is like a perfect amount and that sounds like really refreshing for like a warm day like this mm. It's like so hard to drink cold things. Like I have to make the face every time. Like it's just, my teeth are so sensitive. And I use the Sensodyne toothpaste and all that stuff. I just have such sensitive teeth. But I got an electric toothbrush. I showed it in my Costco vlog on my second channel. And oh my goodness, it is the best toothbrush I've ever used. It is like cleans your teeth so well like every time I use it I feel like I just went to the dentist and they also have like a gum massager option too and a plaque removal so it just ugh, I can't believe I've never had an electric toothbrush I always just use like the free ones that they give you at the dentist. <laughs> but yeah, the electric one, I definitely recommend one if you don't have one because it is just, it just does all the work. Like you feel like you're at the dentist, like it really scrubs it. And like some of the one I got, like if you are too rough, it stops automatically, which is very good because sometimes like people brush really, really hard thinking it'll clean your teeth better. But re in reality, that's not true. That'll just hurt your gums. You want to just be like circle motions, like gently, and then also do the inside, which sometimes it's hard to get like on the inside and backside of your teeth. So like with the electric one, it's pretty easy. Which one do I like more? Hmm. Honestly, I think I like this one more. They're both very good, but I like how spicy this is. Mm. I always forget to use my hot sauce. This is pretty hot though. But, woo! Add some. And dip it in the Chipotle. It's already so saucy, like the green stuff is coming out. Mmm. Well, if you guys try this stuff out, make sure to leave a comment down below. Come back and leave a comment. And let me know what you think. Rating 1 through 10. My rating on this burrito, I would have to give it... Well, I don't know what it's like with the fries in it. It would probably be super good with the fries in it. But, like, it really doesn't need it either. Because it is, like, still a big burrito. I would say my rating is, like, a 9 out of 10 for this. And then that one is just, like, a little bit messier to eat. Still very good though, so I, th I would give that one like a 7 out of 10. I just love like a burrito. Mm. So I told you guys how I've been selling things on Facebook Marketplace. I have been on a roll. I sold my Blackstone. I got it last year and it's just like kind of hard for me to like do it because it like to wheel it outside and to like have the big tank of propane. Is that yeah, that's what it is. Like a big propane tank, which I actually got to sell that too, because you can refill them. Because those things are like sixty dollars. So I was definitely running low on like the fumes, but I thought someone could reuse it. So I sold that for 10 bucks. Woo! But yeah, I sold the Blackstone. I just, it's too much work for me and it gets so dirty, like to clean off. Like I feel like it's perfect for if you're cooking for like a big group of people, but I don't know. I'm like, I might as well sell it if I'm not really using it. Someone had this glass table on their curb, like for the trash. And I was like, what? Like you're getting rid of that just for free? Like it looked like a very nice table. So I go up to it 
and I'm like looking at it closer. So it's like a cute little circle table that's a glass top and that has like a wicker ba basket bottom. Which like I could use a table in my basement for like when me and my friends like play card games and stuff. And if any drink were to spill like on a glass table, that's like the best best one to clean up on because like my other tables are wooden so like if anything is wet that's like left on it it kind of ruins the table so I like I'm trying to lift up this big glass <laughs> this big glass circle I'm trying to get it back there did not fit I couldn't even like lift it up either I was like wheeling it but or rolling it but couldn't get it in but this kind man was like doing someone's yard work and he had a truck and he saw me trying to like get the table at my car and he's like you want me to help you like where do you live and I was like oh not too far and he put it in because I saw it when I was walking the dogs so it was like a straight over and he put it in his truck for me and brought it over how nice so I just have like the glass tabletop laying on my garage floor, the cement. Like, ooh, I didn't know where else to put it. I'm actually pretty full. Mm. We'll take like a couple more bites of this. But I am getting full. And I just don't want to like kill my appetite completely for later. Mmm, I see refried beans in here. I love refried beans. So what's everyone's vacations plans? I have like none, honestly. I haven't been anywhere in a long time. I went to LA in January, but for me, I don't really count that as like a vacation. I went there for a Snapchat event and I hung out with a few other like YouTube friends, but I just don't really consider that like a vacation because like it's not like a beachy relaxing one. It's like a stressful one with traffic and like it's so expensive. <laughs> But my one friend that I know from online, she lives in Vegas, so she told me to come down. I was like waiting on her to like tell me the dates and stuff, but I may go visit and just go for like maybe even like one night because I feel like that might be enough time. Because <laughs> like I would want to go with my friends sometime too. And like I'd go for like three days or so, but like since I'd maybe be like in my own hotel and stuff, I feel like having like one whole day at night and then leaving sometime the next day, like not super early the next day, but sometime the next day, I feel like that would be like a good amount of time in Vegas. But I've never been to Vegas. I'll be 23 this summer, so I really want to go. I've been wanting to go since I turned 21. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That was both so good. Really tasty Taco Bell and spicy. Like, my mouth is actually on fire. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.